Howdy doody buckaroonies, I recently made a video about 10 free plugins for sound design that did really well for some reason, and today I wanted to make a follow up and focus on synthesizers. So in today's video I wanted to share with you guys 10 of my favorite free synthesizer plugins for sound design. This would be things like making loop libraries or sample packs for the music industry, working in the film and game industry doing sound design, or maybe you just want to get into this industry and don't want to spend a small fortune on plugins to make it happen, or you simply can't afford to. I've used these synths myself over the years and I actually still use a few of them today because they're just really good and even stack up to a lot of the expensive paid options. This list is presented in no particular order today and obviously there are way more than 10 free synthesizers out there so if you have some recommendations as well feel free to leave those down in the comments and help everyone out. If you want to grab any of these synths for yourself you can find links to all of these down in the description below. If you use these synths to create some cool new music feel free to share it with me because I always love to check out what you guys are working on. And if you're ready to share your track with the world, why not check out my friends over at DistroKid. DistroKid is an all-in-one digital distribution platform for the modern musician. It's only 20 bucks a year for unlimited uploads, and it's insanely easy to use and get your music out there to all of the major retailers in the known universe. All you need to do is log in, upload your song, drag in your artwork, and you're ready to go in minutes. There's also the really cool hyperfollow tool to help build up your fan base and promote your music, and there's even cool little meme generators to get Baby Yoda to play your song, which is pretty awesome. If you're ready to get your music out there today, you can use my VIP code, which is linked down in the description below to save yourself 7% off your first year, and I get a small kickback as well, so it's a great way to get your music out there and help support the channel so I can make more videos like this one. With all that out of the way, let's dive in and check out some free scents. First up here we have Surge from Vember Audio, and Surge actually used to be a paid plugin, but it's now free and also fully open source. Now I know I just said that this video is in no particular order, but I had to show this synth first because if you download anything from this video, it needs to be Surge. This in my opinion represents one of the best synths that money just can't buy because it's free. Surge packs a whole lot of features under the hood here. We have three oscillators with two layers, so a total of six. These oscillators can handle everything from virtual analog and subtractive synthesis to the FM oscillators. There's also wavetable mode. There's audio input, so you can use it as a vocoder. You can also FM any of the oscillator types with the FM routing. There's dual filters. There's a bunch of really great effects. There's oscillator drift to give you those kind of classic analog-y type of things. It also supports MPE, which is just... An insane amount of features for something that's free. Surge here is basically everything you need in a synthesizer in one go. So absolutely go download this thing. Next up here is a bit of an oldie, but a goodie. This is Dext from Digital Suburban. Dext is open source. It's a free FM synthesizer that's very closely based on the DX7, which is one of the most iconic FM synthesizers of all time. The UI is a bit small, a bit hard to work with, especially if you're not really familiar with FM synthesis and stuff, but this is extremely powerful and a lot of fun. If you have a DX7, you can also use this as a librarian for your DX7 patches, which is kind of neat. This synth does require a relatively good working knowledge of FM synthesis and setting up FM patches, but once you do understand FM synthesis and really dive into this synth, it's incredibly powerful and a lot of fun.
Here we have something relatively new, which is Pendulate from Newfangled Audio. This is a really fun little mono synth that also offers MPE support. So if you have an MPE controller, you can use this to create some cool kind of interactive patches that are a really unique thing because this is based on West Coast synthesis, which is something I don't really see a whole lot of in the VST world and it's pretty cool. The user interface is nice and easy to work with. Everything's laid out here. Modulation is easy. Just click something and then assign it by moving it over and clicking and dragging the little mod box here, I guess is what I would call it. All around, when you pair this up with some solid effects, it is a damn good synth. Pendulate also has its bigger brother called Generate, and I'm gonna be doing a video on the channel about that very soon because these are really cool synthesizers. These are great for making wavetables. They're great for modern cutting edge sounds. They're really good, honestly, for like trailer and cinematic stuff, either sound effects or like trailer music. It just sounds massive and it's a lot of fun to play with. Next up here, I wanted to include Exact Light from Sonic Bits because this is sort of like Dext, but just a bit more of a modern take on FM synthesis with a much more friendly user interface. This thing has a much more friendly UI, especially for beginners. So if you're not familiar with FM synthesis, this is a really great way to get into it and understand how and why FM works and the types of sounds you can get out of it. This thing actually goes a little bit deeper than Dext as well because in the waveforms, we actually get more than just a sine. We have the saw, square, and triangle as well as a couple of TX modeled waveforms. So these are from the TX series from Yamaha, which was another FM synth. It was just a rack mount unit and they're pretty highly regarded. So this is a really good solution, I think, to getting into FM synthesis and it's capable of a whole lot of sounds. One of the great parts about this, I think, as well as the waveform display over here, which updates in real time. So if we update our waveforms, maybe we go in here and change the ratio or the offset, maybe even the phase and detune these waveforms, we can actually see in real time what we're doing and how it's impacting the final outcome, which I think is a very powerful thing to learn FM synthesis because FM is pretty complicated. Personally, I really like using this to create wavetables. It's also a really good solution for FM and all things FM from the more modern cutting edge side to the kind of classic synth wavy FM stuff. So it's a really good addition to your arsenal all around. <laughs> Continuing on with the kind of faux analog theme here, we have OBXD, the virtual analog synthesizer. This gives you that lush, classic Oberheim-ish sound for free. It's not the best emulation of the Oberheim stuff ever, but it is a really good synthesizer. I think honestly one of the best parts about this synth is the filter section here. I've got this on high quality mode and 24 decibel per octave mode. There is also a bandpass button here and the multi knob, which allows you to blend between low pass and high pass, which can give you some really nice morphing pad textures. But this filter just sounds really good. Wow. 
One of the other cool features down in the lower right here is the voice variation. You can actually pan out the individual voices, so you can pan out all eight of them into individual parts of the stereo field, which is honestly kind of cool and can give you just that massive sound without a whole lot of effort, especially paired with like a good reverb. This thing sounds damn good. <laughs> We've got my dear old friend Tyrell N6. This is from Yu He, which are the people behind Devo, which is one of the most highly regarded analog synth emulations ever to exist. And this packs a little bit of that Diva magic in a free package that's not quite as deep, but very useful. Much like the other Yuhi synths, or Yuhi, I always forget what it is, this packs a lot of character into one pretty small package. This thing sounds absolutely incredible. It has a very rich and full sound and is capable of just about everything you need when it comes to that big, warm, analog thing. All around, it's not the most flexible synth ever, but this is really amazing for creating classic sounds and adding some vibe to a track or just adding that vintage feeling to whatever project you might be working on. All around, I think this thing is very much worth downloading if you're into classic sounds and classic synthesizers or need something like that for a project. It's just a really good solution for that. In front of me here we have Toonfish 4. This is a little bit of a weird option, but it's very cool and actually has a lot of cool stuff behind it. This synth here was developed to be as small and efficient as possible as part of a competition to build an audio-visual presentation that's under 64 kilobytes in size. 
This is what's known as the demo scene, which is a really cool thing with a lot of really brilliant people involved, and I think you should really check it out. I've linked some more information about the story behind this synth down in the description below. I really recommend you go read it and check out the final result. It is incredibly impressive. Toonfish is pretty unique in the way it approaches making sounds, which makes it a lot of fun to explore and just a bit more of an off-the-wall solution to making sounds. Toonfish is capable of a massive array of sounds, everything from your classic sounds to making wavetables with, to weird sci-fi one-shots or weird cinematic effects. It's just really worthwhile to play around with. Toonfish is pretty intuitive to work with. It's extremely CPU efficient and it's very, very, very powerful. Next up here we have Synth 1, which is like one of the most classic freeware synthesizers ever. This thing is like kilobytes in size and is actually one of the most downloaded plugins ever in the history of all time. It's not really a mind-blowing synth, and as I'm sure you can tell by the look of it, it's not all that deep, but this thing can run even on the most potato. As I'm sure you can tell by the interface, it's a bit old. It was actually made all the way back in 2002, and it's not really the most deep synthesizer out there, but this thing is pretty powerful in its own right. It's very usable. It's extremely CPU efficient and will run on even the most potato-y of potato computers. So if you have a pretty low spec system and you need something that's pretty powerful and flexible, this is a good solution to get you started. If you're looking to learn the basics of synthesis as well, this is a pretty good solution because it offers FM as well as ring modulation. There are like seven gajillion free presets out there that you can use to kind of get to grips with everything. It has a really nice clean sound. It's not all that exciting or hyped, but it's not really meant to be. It's just meant to be a synthesizer that makes synth sounds. <laughs> Next two are kind of bundled into one because they're kind of just part of the same thing. Here we've got Tal Baseline. This is basically your classic mono bass synth. This does a really good job of all the classic acid bass lines and acid leads and whatever in just one compact plugin. It's a little hard to see on a modern screen because the UI is pretty small. It's not the most advanced thing ever, but it is very usable. It's really great for those classic like psi trancey acid leads and whatever and is cool just for making some interesting kind of classic one shots <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Next up is the other really cool towel plug and I wanted to give a shout out to which is towel noisemaker. This is a really great intro to synthesis and is actually a pretty powerful little thing. This synth is nice and easy to use. You can see there's only a handful of controls. The second section here has a filter, ADSR. We have an envelope editor which you can go in and plunk in as many points as you want. So it's actually a pretty advanced little envelope editor and you can even control the FM and ring mod with it. So that's a lot of fun to experiment with. There's the control section down here, which offers just some pretty basic stuff all around a synth worth having all around. I think this is definitely something worth having, especially if you just don't have anything else and it can be a bit of a fun little box to play around with. And I think you would be really surprised at the amount of sounds you can get out of this. Next up here, we have the PG-8X, which is an amazing sounding plug. And this is based on the Roland JX-8P, which is kind of your classic mid 80s synthesizer. This plugin represents just about everything you need for your retro wave, synth wave, vapor wave, outrun and mall core needs. It is just that classic sound. If you love classic synths or do anything involving retro ish sounds, go download this synthesizer. Rounding off the list here, I wanted to put in Zebra Let, which is one part of Zebra 2. If you do this times four, you basically have Zebra 2, which is one of probably the more powerful synths out there and is very, very highly regarded. This one little box, while it is a little bit ugly, is damn powerful. There are a lot of really cool modes to manipulate your waveforms and go through here and start messing with stuff. It's just a really interesting experience all around. ZebraLet offers a lot of really cool ways to manipulate the waveforms and scroll through them. And there's some different waveform modes here. It's just a really unique experience that's kind of its own thing. Down here in the mod section as well, there is an absolutely ridiculous amount of modulation and stuff you can apply. So this is a little bit of a weird synth. It's a little bit dated. The UI is pretty small, but it is incredibly powerful and definitely worth playing with. 
Zebralette is great for some really straightforward sounds as well as some really weird and out there sounds. It's got a whole lot of features, so it's worth sitting down and kind of skimming through the manual. It's also got a good amount of presets as well, which I recommend checking out because the presets do teach you a lot about what Zebralette can do and how you can make it do those things. Finally, to cap this video off, I just wanted to give a couple of honorable mentions of other things I think are worth checking out. First up is something really, really new. This is Odin 2, which is still a work in progress, so I don't really know how representative this is of kind of the final vision, but it's pretty cool and worth checking out. The UI might be a bit hard to see, especially on bigger displays, but it's pretty straightforward. There's an analog oscillator, wavetable oscillator, multi oscillator, which is actually pretty fun, vector oscillator, so you can do some like vector synthesis stuff with some wavetables and other waveforms. There's also the chiptune oscillator, FM oscillator, phase mod oscillator, noise oscillator, wave draw oscillator, so you can go in here and draw on your own waveform in real time, chip draw oscillator, which is more of a stair-stepped version of that, and the spec draw, which is a spectral harmonic editor thing, which is a whole lot of features for a free synthesizer. You also get a couple basic effects, delay, phaser, chorus, and flanger. There's the distortion here with a couple of different modes. It's honestly worth checking out. I'm excited to see where this one goes, especially because it has an XY pad, which is something I don't see enough of in synthesizers. I really always like an XY thing. There's also a good amount of mod matrix slots. There's a pretty decent preset library and an arpeggiator. So another really good kind of all in one little box to make sounds with. Here is Voltage Modular 2 Nucleus Edition. Now this is not normally free. This is actually paid, but it's currently free as of the time of making this video, and I'm not sure how long that deal will last. It may be free, it may not. Full disclosure, I work very closely with the folks at Cherry Audio and Voltage Modular, but that in no way affects my opinion about Voltage Modular. I loved Voltage Modular since I got it, I continue to love it, and that's why I work with them. Like I said, this may or may not be free when you see this video, so that's why it's kind of here in the honorable mentions, but I really, really like Voltage Modular. This is really awesome. There are a lot of really cool modules out there, both paid and free. I highly recommend you check it out.
finally, to round off this list here, we have AIS Player with Swatches. This is kind of just a preset browser. It comes with a lot of different sounds. They're really great for making loops and other little things. The only downside is you just can't really tweak them. This is basically a stripped down version of something like, I guess, Arturia's Analog Lab. I hope in the future, though, they maybe add some macros so you can have a little bit of control over the sounds. The UI is a little bit blah, and navigating it can be kind of hard because there's not really a great way to view the different categories and stuff. But it is worth checking out just to have some extra sounds because it sounds really good, like all the AAS stuff, and gives you just a little bit of a bigger sonic palette to pull from if you're working on a project. <laughs> And there you have it, a bunch of free synthesizers I think are really worth checking out and really worth your time. So I hope you found this video helpful, I hope you find these synths useful, and I hope you get some mileage out of them. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again soon.